If you have a smartphone, which I think if you're watching this, you probably do, you can actually make it look like a professional camera and you can actually start making videos with it and be happy with the results. I'm actually gonna show you how I make my smartphone look like a $5,000 camera setup like this. And at the end of this video, I'll be putting it side by side to see if you can even tell the difference. Let's go. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It is Omar Altakori with Think Media. And this channel is all about helping you build your influence with online video and YouTube. And we do that by sharing the best tips and tools on how to do so, like using your smartphone to create videos. And so if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button. Now I am using my iPhone 13 mini to film this portion. Now this angle right here is my $5,000 setup and we'll put it side to side after I get through the three easy ways to make it look professional, your smartphone that is. And the first thing you wanna make sure you do is make sure that you're shooting in the right settings and using the proper camera. The first thing to know is that most smartphones actually shoot in 4K resolution right now, which is insane, but most smartphones come shipped with the default setting at about 1080 because they don't want you to run out of space. Um, obviously that's something to keep in mind, but it's good to know your capabilities. And so you wanna make sure you go into your settings. I'm actually gonna move off to the side real quick and, and, and show you how even on an iPhone, you have to go into your settings and then actually select 4K resolution for your video. Um, and you can do that in the camera app as well. Now, I'm shooting this portion in cinematic mode. So specifically with iPhones, they have the mode called cinematic mode. The thing is with this mode is yes, it only maxes out at 1080, but for the sake of like the, the effect of the blurry background, I think it's pretty dope. And most people are watching their content on their phones and watching it in 1080 anyways. But just knowing that you're getting the right settings, regardless if you're gonna shoot in 1080 because you want to, or you wanna shoot in 4K, and to use the right camera. Now, at the time of shooting this video, most smartphones have the best camera in the back. So, you know, that selfie camera that most people like to use because you wanna see yourself, uh, you want to use the back camera if you want the best quality possible. So you just want to make sure that you use the rear facing camera and particularly the main one. So in this case, uh, this is the main camera. I have, you know, the wide angle lens on the iPhone, but usually those don't do too well unless you have like sunlight coming in. So you want to make sure you're using the best camera possible. Now to make sure that your shot actually looks good though, just do a test shot and then watch it back after you do a quick little test. If you absolutely want to see yourself, you can actually invest into about a $25 mirror that can go on top of your phone that literally points down at the screen and you can see yourself. Like it's super legit, I actually made a video on it. But you just wanna make sure your settings is dialed and the camera you are using is the best camera. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is invest in good lighting. The light that I'm using right now is the Amaran 60D. This is about a $200 light that is super cool and compact but more than it just being compact, I love that it runs on batteries. Uh, I, you know, my, my office here isn't all that big, but I need the flexibility to use this light in so many different scenarios and having it not have to be plugged into the wall is super dope. I also love this light because it's simple to use. There's only one color temperature, so you don't have to worry about if you have the right temperature or not, whether it's too warm or too cold, which also makes it cheaper than the other version, which is pretty cool. But I have a GVM lantern on it, and this is really just gonna produce a nice big and soft light. Lighting is everything. I'm here to tell you that it is lighting that makes whatever camera or smartphone you use shine. So be sure to invest in good lighting. I just have it on a stand, but I'm literally running it on batteries right now to achieve this shot. And it's been running for about an hour and I know it can go for a really long time. And we'll be sure to post the links down to everything in the description below. So make sure you check that out. And then the third thing you're gonna want to make your smartphone look good is a good tripod and phone mount. The one that I absolutely love using is this Manfrotto tripod because it's so compact, light, and easy to use. It has a really cool ball head on it, which allows me to tilt the camera as I need to, which is super nice, as well as be able to put it in vertical mode. So if I wanna shoot things like YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, or TikToks, you could do it with this tripod. As far as what's holding up my camera, I have this cool retractable phone clamp, which I found is just easy to use. But what I like about this one is that there's two cold shoe mounts on it, which allow me to put up to two accessories, whether it be the mirror that I'm using right now to put on top, or maybe if you wanna hook up like a lavalier mic or anything you need to, it gives you that option to do up to two, which I really like. All right, we just hit the comparisons and now it's time to see if you can decide if you can spot the difference between my $5,000 Sony camera 
and my iPhone 13 mini. The way I'm gonna do this real quick, all right, is I'm going to do this by putting each shot up for about three seconds, and then the next shot's gonna come up, okay? You're gonna have a countdown, you're gonna be able to decide and let me know. You can let me know in the comments during the time, or just hit that like button if you haven't hit it already. But the first shot we're gonna throw up in three, two, one, boom, here's the shot, and three, two, one, boom, here's the next shot, three, two, one. Which one was it? Did you get it right? All right, the first shot was the iPhone, uh, and then the second was the Sony, putting them side by side. Dude, really hard to truly spot the difference. And uh, I did say earlier in this video that I would just shoot a 4K version. I found that the cinematic version does look better than 4K as far as the look goes because of that blurry background. But this is how they all look, uh, kind of stacked next to each other. And really, it looks amazing. If, if you're not already creating content with your smartphone, let this be your sign. Invest into some good lighting, dial in your settings, put that sucker on a tripod, and if you actually wanna level up the audio of your smartphone, you can do that by clicking or tapping the screen. I had so much fun with you in this one. I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.